Okay, so now when we have uh, the basic structure of our building finished, uh, let's put some textures on it to make it look more interesting. So just layer number one, select it. Select the building, go to materials, and uh, tap to edit mode actually. Go to face selection mode. Press Z to go to wireframe one and using the box selection B select just these faces on one side, not the top, not the bottom one. B select that. Go to side view by pressing three. B select this and the same on the opposite side B select this that's how your selection selection should look like along with this selection I'll go to material buttons and press the plus button let's say a few times but don't do not use the first line uh, when you do this, actually, all the materials, all the next materials, uh, you're creating and sharing the same attributes. So you always have to press the small X and delete. Uh, just trust me, um, that will work. So select the second one, press Assign, New, and change the color. The color is not important because we're going to be putting the texture on it. So we've got this here the, this button area I left uh, white intentionally because I want to put a different material on it and with this material so you can change the name of the materials that's a good idea to keep this keep the model organized but I'm not doing it now so select the texture new image or movie it's image in this case open brick texture and uh, actually I go it on a desktop here in house tutorial reference pictures I'm using this one open an image in image mapping change repeat to six and y to four something like that and in mapping change it from flat to cube seven we need to adjust our light because we're not gonna see anything first of all let's put the empty into our scene shift a add empty select the camera then hold down the shift select the empty control t track the constraint a so now the camera is going to be always pointing to our empty empty works as a camera focus now on target select the light bring it here and change it to sun rotate side view grab and rotate zero and go to the camera view and press F12 to render Euro. Then we have our bricks applied. Looks to this uh, a bit small but yeah you can change the values in the texture here. Looks say this is a bit better so there we go later on you can you can uh, change the normals value it's gonna look a bit better in a render give it give the wall some depth you know but I'm not doing it now you can set it up now but just untick this it's gonna affect your render times so when your model becomes more 
complex. Good. So then we have the exterior walls, and now let's texture our roof. Tap to edit mode, select all these faces. Two, three, four. And again, materials plus but three, which is the second one. Assign new, just make it a little bit dark gray and uh, go to texture new image and open. Link to download these textures you will find in description in the same way as for reference pictures. So, okay, now we are changing it to cube, mapping to cube. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And let's see what we have. Still too much, I mean, too small six and four yeah that's good that's better Z let's uh, take our empty a bit higher so we got a better view on the on the roof all right but I'm not I am not using this reddish color so you can change the material change the texture colors color value I'm changing taking brightness down contours down to about half saturation to about half I'm just trying to make it look darker you know just play with it and you will see when you're happy That's why I like much better. Okay. With the roof still selected, uh, holding down Alt and click somewhere here, you should be able to select the whole loop edge. Well, I was almost there. Shift Alt. Happen, but I need to deselect tap. I need to deselect and yeah, that's what I was trying to get. Um, by using box selection, select the rest of them or the faces, and uh, now we are going to materials select another material assign new and I'm gonna make it brown ish chocolate something okay uh, yeah and the name of this material is material number material 002 and I'll be using the same material for the bottom area of the building that's why I need to know the name hold down alt and oh what the hell there we go I really want to select that one a yeah happened finally so select this one and give it press assign and give material two good I like it with the roof 
I'm going to show you something else. Tap to edit mode. Just select material 1, select. And material 2, deselect. And just with this area selected, go to side view and press E to extrude, escape, and scale it a little bit up, just a bit. And bring it a little bit up now. And that's gonna create kind of edge here and it looks more realistic, you see, here in the rendering. Okay, so that's what we have so far. Bring the gable walls and give it material number two. And this one, material number two as well. If it's not your cup of tea you can do your own colors okay and the next part we will be making some frames around the windows and doors and then start with creating the actual windows and doors so see you soon